It's 8.30 a.m. and a morning breeze is already driving the turbine at Seaton Primary School in Devon. The children are encouraged to arrive on foot, on scooters and by bike. This is no ordinary primary school. Caring for the environment is not just a subject to be studied, it's an ethos. We don't waste energy, we make our own electricity. And the wind turbine, and we've got solar pallows um, on the top of the roof. Really, because it's right at our school gate, it's a, it's a statement of what we're standing for within the school. It, it actually works back to front to what you think, so it, it's actually um, pointing away from where the wind is coming from. The, the, the back of the machine is where the, 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 the sails are turning. Um, and having the wind turbine and the photovoltaics are, are, are great, but really it's about being a sustainable school as a whole and that's about our culture and our ethos. And our ethos statement says caring now for the future and that's, that's really what we're about as a school. The ethos pervades all aspects of school life. The on-site power generation including solar PV, water heating and the turbine are integrated with other ways of preserving the environment from recycling to composting and the children are never too young to get the message. That's called the wormery there. The worms eat all our banana skins and stuff and um, it turns into lovely compost to um, help the flowers grow. I'll show you. That's what it starts off like. You do it. It's heavy, isn't it? Yep. And that, look, the worms are actually eating it and it's turning into lovely compost. Members of the school's eco club are experts on environmental issues. I think that we should like stop using energy. Well, not stop using it, but stop using too much because otherwise all the ice caps will melt and the animals at the North Pole and South Pole will all die and everything will get flooded. It could cause too much global warming and we could all die of heat. Animals could get extinct. The sea level will all start rising. Earth shall be toast. It's not all doom and gloom. The Eco Club has solutions too. We go in the woodland area and we move the logs from and put them onto the um, log pile that's for grass snakes and that. So I thought it would be really fun. <laughs> and it is. The fun continues in the school's solar heated swimming pool. Pump, pumps the water all the way around the pool into the top of these, it dribbles down the inside and warms up in the sun and then it's pumped back into the pool. I believe looking at the thing this morning, the water inside the pipes after it's been through days, 35 degrees. Even when it's not all fun, it's still sustainable. Lessons often have a green theme too, proving that the environment can be woven into all subjects. What we're going to do today is uh, we're going to look at energy saving and we're going to use a, a, a budget calculator using Excel. You like to turn your laptops on and find resources and then find school like energy calculators on energy. It's an approach that seems to work across the curriculum. I'm sure all subjects uh, in a very wide cross-curricular holistic sort of fashion um, can be related to the processes uh, that go on in nature. A science lesson, demonstrating how electricity can be generated by electrodes inserted into fruit and vegetables. And at assembly, the pupils are updated on how much electricity their turbine and photovoltaic panels have generated in the week. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Mr Simpson. This week, I know that I've just looked on the computer and that, I'll take this off here, so far we had made 25 units of electric kilowatt hours of electricity, that's 25 units of electricity from the sun and two from the wind. So what lessons do the children take home from their sustainable school? We reduce the stuff that we have, we reuse it over and over again, which is actually recycling. We have to turn off lights we walk out of the room and computers are all turned off. I always switch off the light before I go to bed. 